Hi, my name is Kevin. I uh, welcome you to at, uh, River Out Lodge. Uh, so at River Out Lodge, what I do is I'm a host of uh, the nature reserve and the lodge site. Uh, what happens uh, with River Out Lodge? I'm going to have to brief you why I'm here. I made River Out Lodge to make sure that uh, all my guests come this site to enjoy and to get more interest and to know more about the nature and about who we are and uh, to make sure they come back again. Okay, Kevin, as Umswati and your heritage, what connection do you have with the cradle of humankind and what can you tell us about its significance for you? Okay, uh, with the heritage of uh, Umswati and uh, meeting uh, with the Sutu, Tswana people uh, that uh, lived here long time, million years ago at the reserve where uh, we've got the River Hot Lodge to be uh, built and we featuring to get uh, most people to come and have a stay at River Horse so that they can experience and learn more about what I'm talking about when I'm talking about the Tswana people, the Sudu people, then the Bantu people that uh, lived in, uh, in this area of uh, the humankind where there were some fossils found millions and billions of years ago, which is uh, uh, the Malapa and the Gladys Fair site. Yes. Right. Okay, thank you so much. Uh, what types of safari activities and excursions are offered to the guests at the lodge? Okay, so uh, that's uh, what uh, that is what uh, is the most important that uh, we normally do when we get people because they get to meet different of the rangers of this place, of the guards, that they can even ask any questions, they can be comfortable mm -hmm. to ask questions from different people. Then you get when you go out from this place, uh, from River Earth Lodge, you get to have more information. So what we offer in this place, we offer game drives. Our game drive takes about two hours to game drive and we offer the Gladys video, which is the uh, Craig uh, Humankind. So we drive about four hours in the reserve. You can see different places uh, where the Bantu people lived, the Tana people lived, that uh, also take back to the heritage of us and the and the Tana people in the Sutu way, with the Malapa, with the Gladys Vale and all those kind of things in the, in the, in the area. All right, that's really interesting. Yeah. How does a River Horse Lodge contribute to wildlife conservation efforts in the area? Okay, so with contributing on that one, so we make sure with our animals, they are safe because our animals are free, lens are they going every way, we are, they're not caged. So we make sure we don't have um, plastic or everything bad to them. Then uh, with the river horse, we've got a dam for them, a lake for them, I'll say. The lake uh, that comes uh, whereby they all come together down on the other side, maybe if you have a look, uh, you, know, they, you might see that. Uh, we've got a lake where they come and drink the spring water that comes down from the, the land. So it's a clean water that uh, anybody can have to drink, that you can drink here. Yeah. What measures are taken to minimize the environmental impact of the safari activities at River Horse Lodge? Okay, with that we've got our special people that were trained in the people that we hired from local places that are uh, surrounding us to make sure that uh, we've got the environment clean for our animals, for human beings, for ourselves. The people that keep the uh, place uh, clean to make sure our animals are safe and healthy, uh, to make sure our trees, our gardening, our beds and everything that are uh, is around with us, keep clean, and uh, to make sure that the people that are still are doing the, the, the investigations about the fossils, they can be free in the place and they can easily find the, the stones where they can get their bones and everything and connect them easily. Okay, okay um, some of the unique wildlife landscapes that guests can expect to encounter. Uh, we've got a uh, Big get animals like um, elands. They can experience to see or uh, those kind of uh, ama elands. Those are the huge animals that you can see in this place. Uh, more, I would say, not by any chance. So you can miss the to, to see the vala bears. Uh, most people when they see the vala bear, they say it's a buffalo. Of which, yeah, it's a kind of like a buffalo. But we don't have a buffalo. We don't have big five in the place. But we having good all those good nice animals that you can. Uh, enjoy and have a look uh, and then you can see the pig fire from them. I'll say like, for example, I'm saying the Valabies. The Valabies uh, is everywhere. 
Because we are on the other side of the Harada Beer side, and we've got the Valda Beers coming in our place. Yeah, you remember we are not far from the land park. We just from around the. We, we are surrounded by many hotels and many lodges around us, and the many city towns in Aranda. So if they can come here to just experience the animal that uh, we are talking about, we are kindly to see the impalas. You can see the. Warthogs, you can see the zebras, giraffes, the baboons, the monkeys, those are the not ones that you might see in the area of which we don't have anything bad in the, in the, in the place. So you can see those things. Ah, by the way, you might see a lot of crawling things, but we are able to handle them. 